Definitely, <laughs> and it's a little bit sad that this Mother's Day weekend may affect some plans across Central Texas as it's going to be a wet one, Jasmine. So here are the big things that we are tracking. We do have a potential to see some severe storms this afternoon, this evening, through those overnight hours. Flood watch. That's also going into effect as we head into tonight. I'll show you which counties right now it's been issued for and when it's set to expire, as well as again, a rainy Mother's Day weekend. So right now, no rain as you step out the door. We are seeing a very warm and muggy start, however, with temperatures across the board in the low to mid 70s as you head out. That's all thanks to that moisture coming in from the Gulf and that's going to help fuel some of these storms as a dry line makes its way further east and it's really going to impact our western counties today. So here's that hour by hour outlook for you. Can't roll out a couple of stray showers throughout the day. This is not going to be widespread by far. Now as we go into the afternoon, we'll start to see this activity pick up a bit with some scattered showers as well as a couple of thunderstorms. We do have the potential that some of these storms could be on the severe side for the afternoon, but the better chance for any of those severe storms is going to hold off until we get into late tonight and especially into these overnight hours. Again, our western zones we're really going to be keeping an eye on as that is the higher threat risk or that th area, I should say. By the time we get to around sunrise on your Saturday, storm coverage does decrease, but not the rainfall. We're going to be seeing those widespread showers throughout the day Saturday, though it's not going to be raining for all all throughout the day. As you see by about eight o'clock, our eastern zones get a break in that rainfall, but still expect to need those umbrellas throughout the day as rain continues, especially for areas west of the I-35 corridor through the afternoon, and it doesn't start to move out until we get into your Saturday night where our eastern zones covered in that rainfall once again. We do get back to a more quiet picture late Saturday night, but again, with that heavy and consistent rainfall, it's no good as we can expect some flooding to take place throughout the day, not only for tonight, but on your Saturday. Isolated to scattered risk for these severe storms. Again, this is going to be the highest threat area. Hail, high winds. Those are going to be the main threats. Does look like the tornado threat is going to be west of our area for tonight. Flooding risk. That is the highest threat that we can see as we're not only anticipating to see these showers on your Friday and Saturday, but look at your Mother's Day forecast. Breakfast in bed may be a good idea, especially since it's indoors, because we're going to be seeing those scattered to widespread showers as well throughout the day on your Sunday, and it's going to continue into your Monday as well. Now with all of the rainfall that we see from your Friday through your Saturday, this is noon on your Saturday, we can see over an inch, close to two inches in our western zones. The further east you go, a little bit less rainfall, but then once this weekend is all said and done, anywhere between two to four inches of rainfall going to be possible, again with our western zones picking up the most. So flood watch. It's in effect, no surprise here, for areas in and west of the I-35 corridor. Starts at 7 tonight, runs through 7 on your Sunday. Showers continue for your Monday, but that cold front moving through, mainly just isolated to scattered showers Tuesday through Thursday. Have a plan in place, stay weather aware, turn around, don't drown. Main three points you need to keep in mind this weekend if you're going to be out and about. There's that 7-day forecast for you.